Hello and good morning, it's Phil and Casey, and this morning we are at the University of Tennessee Gardens, and we're standing right here by the Smoky Four statue. They've got statues of all the Smoky mascots here around the University of Tennessee, and this garden is really cool. It's the first time I've ever been here. It's kind of hard to find a parking place here, but we are here during the kind of the summer break. So we're gonna walk around, and I've got the macro lens. I'm gonna try to take some macro photos of what I find and share them with you. Right at the front gate, there are these interesting round water gardens. And look, I don't know if you can see them, but there are huge tadpoles in here. So there's gonna be some awesome frogs around this area pretty soon. Check out those gigantic tadpoles. Right here, we found uh, some uh, salvia and some zinnias and the salvia i think i'm saying that right i might be saying it wrong these beautiful purple flowers are just covered with bees and i spent a few minutes here making shots of bees and things i think i got a skipper too on these beautiful purple flowers here's the first few photos and i wasn't really thrilled with the first three that i'm sharing with you but this will give me an opportunity to tell you about what gear I used. Here's a skipper photograph and I used for every picture in this video, I used the Canon R6 and the RF 100 millimeter macro lens. I used the Mikey MK320 flash at one quarter power and a Crafty Bells bonnet diffuser. This place is a mecca for bug photography. I think I got another goldenrod photograph in these flowers and there's more bees over here in these. Here's a photo of a honeybee, a beautiful, beautiful honeybee that's feeding on a cone flower. I thought this one turned out really nice. And here is one of those goldenrod beetles, which I've photographed on a number of occasions, both last year and this year. And here's a photograph of just a flower. I made one shot of this. Usually I make several shots, but I made one shot, looked at the camera and said, well, that will work. Stopped here at this little field of daisies and made some photographs of some really tiny creatures. They almost look like wasps and they have, uh, if it's a stinger, I don't think it is a stinger, but it sticks out really long on its tail. This may be my favorite insect in today's video and just because it's really sharp in this photograph and it's super tiny and I've never photographed one of these before. I believe this is a species of Braconid parasitoid wasp. Here is a beautiful little fly that was on one of those daisies. I love the hairiness of these species and here is another goldenrod soldier beetle and I think this is the sharper of the two photographs, but I went ahead and shared this one as well. Even though it's not quite as sharp, I liked that it was just about to take off. So it has quite a different pose from usual. And here is one of the daisies in the foreground with lots of daisies bokeified in the background and a dark background too. I thought it turned out cool. I worked here in this field of daisies for quite a while, uh, saw all sorts of things. I think I got a couple of shots. I even saw a jumping spider, a species I've never seen before, and made a few shots. I don't think any of them are any good. Maybe one. One, it's looking right at me, but it's out of focus. And another one, I'm, it's in focus, but the composition's not good. Anyway, awesome little field right here. Now we know why there are so many of these goldenrod soldier beetles. Here they are getting busy just right out in the open in front of everybody. And here is an Eastern calligrapher bee. I just love these little bees. I think they're really beautiful. And in this shot, you can see just how tiny it is. And here is one more shot of the little parasitoid wasp. And on this one, it has its tail in the flower and its antenna in the flower as well. You almost can't see this tiny, tiny little creature that's on the center of a brown-eyed Susan, but I think it's a weevil of some sort. And here is probably my favorite photograph of the entire video, and it sums up the day so well. A beautiful honeybee on a beautiful flower. We did a Google lookup on this plant right here, and we think it's called a rattlesnake master. And there's a few of them planted in this area and they are a mecca for bees and things. I mean, so many different varieties. I took as many as I could. This is another one of my favorite images of the day and I love to present 
bugs upside down when I photographed them upside down. This is some sort of bee or hornet and it was absolutely beautiful and kind of unique. This is one of those milkweed bugs. I photographed some of these last week when I was at Harrison Bay State Park and they're really beautiful. We've made our way around most of the garden and we came to an area where it looks like they booked this place for weddings sometimes. Got a little uh, area up there to say your vows and uh, dual waterfalls that go into koi ponds and a nice uh, open area here to put seats I guess and a nice gazebo over here with a covered area for Miss Casey. Here is a beautiful wasp. I love the colors on this wasp and I like the flower that it's on, how it kind of matches its color scheme and the beautiful background. And here is another honeybee. This is probably one of my least favorite photos in the video, but Heather liked it, so I went ahead and shared it with you. Here's another garden. This one is full of cone flowers. And you know, usually you associate cone flowers with being this color, but these cone flowers are all different colors. Not a whole lot of bugs on them, mostly bumblebees. I think I got a skipper here. I believe this is a butterfly of some sort. When I first saw it, I thought it was a moth, but I believe it's a butterfly of some sort. I could be mistaken, and I'm definitely sure that this little cutie is a skipper. Skippers are just beautiful to photograph and so cute to look at. All right, thanks for joining us from here at UT Gardens for a little uh, macro photography festival. This place is awesome. I highly recommend it and it's open seven days a week from sunrise to sunset. There's only about 10 parking places and you can only stay in them for two hours. So you gotta watch out for that. What's it like going to school here? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Bye-bye, thanks for watching.